Paul the Apostle says that salvation came to the nations as a response to Jewish rejection, but not as a punishment to the Jews as some of the church fathers wrongly interpreted. Instead, it was so that Gentile believers could provoke Israel to jealousy, bringing them back into the kingdom. Hi, I'm Ron Canner from Congregation Tefer Yeshua. Now hang around here till the end so that we can tell you how to get a free ebook to equip you to be a defender of Israel. And just a reminder, our brand new novel on the Jewish roots of the faith, the sequel to Identity Theft, is now available and you can get it at the web address on your screen. Church Father Augustine said, Jews deserve death, but were destined to wander the earth to witness the victory of the church over the synagogue. John Chrysostom, the golden mouth preacher, as he was called in the 4th century because of his great oratory skills, says that it is every Christian's duty to hate the Jews. Indeed, even Martin Luther became a rabid anti-Semite in his latter years. Through the great revelation that he received through the book of Romans, that salvation was through faith in the Messiah's sacrifice, not through dead works, he was hopeful that he could reach the Jewish people. However, when they did not respond to his preaching, he turned against them and viciously. He wrote a book called The Jews and Their Lies, where he called the Jews blind and stupid. He advised that their synagogues be burned down, that their prayer books be confiscated, that their houses be destroyed, and that the Jews should be forbidden to teach under the threat of death. His last sermon was a diatribe against the Jews, and a few days later he died. And believe it or not, Hitler and the Nazis used to quote Martin Luther, saying that they were only finishing what the church had started. The problem with their teaching is that it appears that they only read the first two thirds of Romans 11.11. 11. Rather, because of Israel's transgression, salvation has come to the nations. If I stop there, you can conclude that God is finished with Israel. They didn't receive, therefore it's now the Gentiles' turn, but let's read the whole verse. Rather, because of Israel's transgression, salvation has come to the nations to make Israel envious. In the same way that God anointed the Jewish apostles and evangelists, like Paul and Simon Peter, to be a light to the nations, He has anointed the Gentiles to reach Israel with the good news of Yeshua. In fact, through their acts of love and kindness, as well as the demonstration of the power of God through them, they provoke Israel to jealousy. Indeed, the turning point in my search came when I asked a friend of mine, Brian, a new believer, if his life was better now that he believed in Jesus. His face lit up and he said to me, I know God. Until then, I had thought he was merely promising me religion, maybe heaven, but a boring life before that. But when he said, I know God, I became jealous. I wanted what he had. So to my Gentile brothers and sisters out there, you have a calling. You are anointed, maybe even more so than those of us in Jewish ministry, to reach the Jewish people with the gospel. You are called to provoke us to jealousy. Now I can tell you that initially most Jewish people will respond to actions rather than words. After 2,000 years of the most horrific anti-Semitism from so-called Christians against Jews, many of them are wary, but actions can open the door. When I was a new believer, I met with an Orthodox rabbi every week to study the scriptures. He was seeking to unbrainwash me. He told me of a wonderful Christian man that used to come to the synagogue every week and cut the grass for free. Years later, by chance, I actually met that man and was able to tell him of the impact that he had on the rabbi. Now, my challenge to you is what can you do to provoke Israel to jealousy? I hope this video has been a blessing to you. To get my free ebook, The 15 Most Important Facts About the Israeli-Palestinian Conflict, just go to roncan.net slash 15 facts. And make sure that the F is capitalized. This video has been brought to you by our congregation, Tiferet Yeshua, right here in Tel Aviv. For more information, please go to reachtelaviv.org. And while you're there, consider making a donation so we can continue to share the good news of Yeshua right here in Tel Aviv and bring you more of these weekly videos. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Shalom from Tel Aviv.